Okay guys, welcome to the uh, segment of the video where we're gonna be reading uh, mean comments. So I'm gonna go to, you know, I got a lot of mean comments today, a lot of them. So I don't know what post I should start off with. I'll start off with this bicep one. So we'll start here. I'm just gonna go through it. I haven't gone through them really, but I've, I've seen them come up. I'll, I'll put their usernames out there too. Uh, well, it's not really hate, but Photoshop. No, that picture was not Photoshop, guys. I usually don't, you know, I don't take pictures after an arm day because I don't usually do arm day. Uh, but that particular day I had a crazy arm pump so I decided to take a picture with it and I got a lot of erectile dis uh, not erectile dysfunction, erectile tissue in my in my arms so uh, you know they tend to blow up a lot bigger than they are when they're flaccid uh, so a lot of people think that picture was uh, photoshopped. You are going to die of a heart attack. Remember this con comment when it happens. That's from mTOR mentor. <laughs> Thanks for that bro. Um, it's hard to remember the comment, if I die of a heart attack, it's gonna be hard for me to remember that, but I'll try my best. Well, someone goes, Marco underscore V23 says, Ultra had your jaw swinging, bro. That's not really hate, it's not hate at all. It's true, my jaw was swinging, baby. It was jiggity jiggity jaw, baby. You know, and it, wasn't, it wasn't because I was doing drugs or anything, guys. I had the fucking uh, tequila jaw jitters, that's all, you know? You know, you ever drink enough tequila, you get the jaw jitters. It happens. Your penis is getting smaller. Someone goes, next Lee Priest? Good thing you didn't actually tag Lee Priest, otherwise you would have replied with, no, this guy looks like shit like he's did before. Man's heart's gonna give out at 31. Bro, people have been saying that my heart's gonna give out five years. When I was 18 years old, at 156 pounds, people were saying, oh my God, he's gonna die by the age of 25. And 25's right around the corner, and I feel fine, baby. I feel good, so people have been singing that song for years. You know, sometimes I lift heavy ass weight and people go, oh, he's not gonna have shoulders, he's not gonna be able to put his hands over his damn head by the time he's 30, you know? And they've been saying that since I was like 18 years old. And look, still move my shoulders and shit, so nobody knows your body like yourself, okay? Where's the chest? My chest? Ask your mama, I left my tits at her house, baby. Shut the fuck up, buddy. Poor thing. Steroids are bad, mm okay. Um, why won't your chest grow? My chest is growing, believe it or not. It's just that everything else around my chest is growing faster than my chest is growing. So everything everything around my body is going boom, 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 growing. And then my chest is growing like this every year. So it's growing. It's just at a slower pace as everything else. Bro's like 5'3". Hmm. Okay. Holy shit, this one got a lot of comment or a lot of likes. 200 likes on this comment. Uh, baby faced young dude with those arms, LOL. It's so obvious that boy is on test. Nothing more more than some steroid punk looking for likes. <laughs> Who the fuck says punk? If someone calls you a punk, okay, you could almost bet they're over the age of 45, okay? <laughs> Here's a video, so basically, I have 315 on the bar, okay? Now, it's fake fucking way, all right? Now, when I posted this video on my Instagram, in no way was I trying to trick people into thinking I was actually curling 315 pounds, you know? I was making it, I thought I was making it pretty obvious that it was a joke, that I was making it obvious it was fake weight, like, I curled that easy as shit. Um, I even put in the caption, is this real weight or fake weight, making it kind of obvious that it was fake weight. I was actually trying to hide it. I'd struggle a lot more with it. I wouldn't even mention fake weight at all in the caption, but, you know, people have, like, fucking pea-sized brains nowadays, and they actually think that I was trying to pull the wool over their eyes, and they took it all serious, so let's just go through some of the comments here. So, Justin uh, Daljeem says, you can't curl more than me, and you are 5'4", and on steroids, the fact that your gym even has fake weights shows just how fake you Instagram pieces of trash are. You and all your friends that think it's cute make real athletes want to vomit. Okay, so apparently this guy thinks he can curl more than me. Apparently he knows my height. And apparently he's a real athlete. So let's go to his fucking page and uh, see what a real athlete looks like. Why no. don't we? Oh, shit. Oh, oh, don't expose so his ass, okay, bro. Don't, don't do that, Oh, then. guys. So this is what a real athlete Be a bigger like. guy, then. Apparently this guy can fucking curl more than me. Fucking doubt it. But... Let's fucking see what a real athlete looks like, guys. Wow. Wow, buddy. This is this is a top level athlete and he can curl more than me. Let's just let's just pick apart his physique. <laughs> what an athlete. What an athlete. Look at what is that your is it your sister? She's fucking hot, Brandon wants to fuck her. 
What the fuck is this bullshit? This is everything wrong in the industry in one short clip. This guy is a buster. Sorry I fucking offended you so bad. Buster? Buster, bro. It's always, you say buster, punk, you know, you know the guy's like, he's up there, you know? Uh, so, basically, Toyota fans underscore Overland says, all the awkwardly placed over dominant muscles, lol, hashtag bird chest, learn to train before you take drugs, lol. <laughs> like, what the fuck are you saying? Learn to train before you take... I've been training since I was 10 years old, okay? So I've been training more than, people that, people that are 45 years old right now, I've been training longer than them, most of them, okay? Most of these motherfuckers don't start training until like they're 30, all right? So I've been training since I was like 10. I'm like 24, turning 25. I got like almost 15 years under my belt. So eat my butt, baby. Sad to see kids on SARMs. <laughs> Sometimes I think people actually think that I'm younger than I actually am. Like, I, like some of the comments, give me the impression that they think that I'm like 17 years old or something and I'm like fucked up, you know? I'm like, <laughs> I'm almost 25, so, you know. Big underscore Mo 2033 says, this is by far the most childish thing I've ever heard so far this month and I have a two year old who is starting to speak, LOL. With everything happening in the world, do you really think it is the best example of leaving this impression? LOL. <laughs> what the fuck? Guys, when when I post videos, when I post content, I post shit that I like. I like I post shit that I would want to see on the internet, you know, that would entertain me or like help me out. And if it helps you guys, then great, but I don't post things out there to like be some sort of role model or anything like that. I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not I'm not out there trying to lead, like set some some sort of example for people. Um, I'm just doing me and I'm just doing what I love to do. I love posting what I love to post. And like sometimes I post content that I think is funny and a lot of people, you know, they fuck with it, they think it's funny. And a lot of people, you know, they don't fuck with it, you know? And if you're one of the people that don't fuck with it, then just don't watch the content or whatever. I mean, you know, they don't have my sense of humor or whatever. They fucking watch the video or something and they feel so insulted to the point where they have to like leave a paragraph like leading by some bad example or whatever, but. <laughs> I've never tried this flavor yet. Sour candy. I don't know guys, I'll let you know how it is. I'll take a little sip of it now. God damn it! Lit. Got so many new flavors of supplements. Excited to try them, so. Mm. It's a little sour, but it's like, it's very mild. I don't know if I put too much water or whatever, but uh, it's, a, it's a mild taste. Tastes very subtly like candy, and the sourness, you know, there is a bit of sourness, but it's subtle. You know, it's not overpowering. You could drink a lot of it. You're not gonna have your gums bleeding and shit because it's too sour. Three hottest girls right now, go. <sighs> Fuck. Megan Fox, Megan Fox, and Megan Fox. Guy's been on a 2008 train still, eh? Oh, Brandon, how about you? Okay, three, three hottest, hottest girls? Guys. Three hottest guys. Ariana Grande. Three hottest guys, bro. Zoe Kravitz. Three hottest guys. And um, throw this. Isabella Mathers. You always want to put EVP3D with your BCAs. Intro workout gives you a huge pump. It's disgusting. Underrated, guys. Oh. Sour candy with raspberry lemonade. Code Devin, link in the description box below. Put my code all over the screen. Code Devin, baby. <laughs> Start going to the gym, bro. Look, so, so Brandon, Brandon and Nathan, they miss Ultra so bad that they actually refuse to throw out their wristbands from Ultra. So, yeah, they're living by, they look at this, brings back memories. I don't know, does anybody else do this type of shit? I'm, um, I'm, I'm gonna collect them like a fucking Pokemon trainer. Comment below, I feel like, Brandon, so every, every radio festival you go to, you're gonna keep the, the wristband yeah. as like a momentum of like. And then when I'm retired, like when I'm like 55, I'm gonna have them all on my arm. Nathan's like, I gotta try like to take, Thanos. Nathan's like, I gotta try to take it off without like tearing it. So I gotta keep it intact so that I can like carry it forever. That's what everybody wants to do. Holy no, shit. What? Fucking orange. I grabbed one of those oranges, my thumb went right through it. We'll throw it out. No, I'll save it for a poor victim that doesn't know any better. 
Ha! Go fuck yourself, fucker. Three biggest influences of, in your life. I don't know. Jesus. Are you Dem Bernardo? No. I get that a lot, though. I look like him, don't I? Wait. You're not. You're not Jeremy Lin, are you? No. Dude. I'm you your daddy, huh? Bro, you're Jeremy Lin. Devin. Okay, <laughs> Can I have any room? I'm fucking hungry as shit now. I ate like over two hours ago. I'm about to go to a protein bar. I'm fucking get gas, gonna go pick up Tay. And we're like, come here. So, two hours later, bro. Good. I'm trying to slow it down a bit. So if I go too fast, turns the cardio, I start losing my pump. So let's take it easy and uh, you know give the chance to pump, give the, the give the pump a chance to settle in, baby. Fucking sound like Dr. Zoiberg. Dr. Zoiberg over here. The brain hasn't recovered yet. Holy eh? shit, bro. Holy shit. The Molly brain. Molly brain. You know, it's like Molly brain. mixer, like Evogen fat burner, bro. Uh. It's making me like crackhead right now a little bit. I, I should win half a scoop. I'm going full scoop, baby. I'm fucking call me Devin took the whole thing, Bernardo. One, two. There's a lot of new faces around here today. Yeah, I was wondering, is there like a like a free pass shit going is on? Is like a fucking convention or something going on? Devin, your muscles welcoming to new people. I'm not, baby. It's in my stomping ground. We went to my perimeter. By Yeet, I don't even know who the fuck Yeet is, but uh, Big Tonka, Lil, Lil Uzi Vert, fucking banger. Big Tonka by Lil Uzi Vert and Yeet. Yeet and Lil Uzi Vert, fire. Flames, throw the flames, 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 splash, splash, drip, drip, on your sister's clit, yeah, on your mother's slit, yeah. Fire me up, Lil Uzi. It's the set, baby. Fire me up, Lil Uzi. Big Tonka. I love Big Tonka dump trucks. Boy. It's the bread and butter of all back stuff. Pop up 
them don't have a belt today. That's my belt in Florida, baby. I think I just did a Redcon 1 gym, so if anybody goes to that gym, you see it. I mean, feel free to use it until I come back and I get it back. So, ask Blessing. Uh, oh yeah, if, if Blessing, if you want to, it's too small for that motherfucker, bro. It's too skinny, he needs a fucking wide one, bro. But if anyone else at that gym sees it there and you guys want to use it, feel free to use it, okay, guys? Rep my name in there with that belt. Oh yeah, keep it safe for me, because I'll be back for it. That belt, that belt's been with me since fucking what? Fucking 2019? I don't know, baby, but it's been in there for a while. Fuck this. My test is fucking exploding today. Same. Is it? Look, my balls dropped at least oh, a yeah, inch. Yeah, my balls are hanging yeah. today. Like, I left my fucks at the door today, baby. I left all of them at the fucking door. I swear my test is up because I deadlifted for the first time in like almost seven months the other day. Ever since then, I've been feeling fuller. The G-force when your nuts drop. I'm fucking like horned up and shit. If you guys knew the gas that was in my ears right now, you'd all squirt and shit your pants at the same time. Oh my god. Ah, ah. Feels awful without a belt, bro. <laughs> I feel shit without a belt. Okay, you're in the video. Should I ask the shot for his belt? What's the set for? What's the set dedicated for? Huh? Go. The Go. Set? It's just for fucking Donald J. Trump, motherfucker. This one's for Caitlyn Jenner. Yo. I kinda want to go for Instagram real. Huh? Come on, fuck me up, baby. Fuck me up, baby. Come on. Fuck you. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah! Huh! What's up, Pond Next? What are we doing? Come on, bro. Come on. Let your boy put a shirt on, boy, before you stop filming me, boy. This is a finished channel, cuz. Shirts are allowed to be off, bro. Shit, bro. Not when you fat as fuck like I am right now, bro. Shit. No way to slap the more fat onto my body. More pizza. More zoll, man. More zoll, man. This is my fat shirt. It's extra large. Sent from Air Canada. When we, you know, had our luggage sent. On the wrong flight, we had no clothes, so Eric Canada gave us extra large shirts. I use this today to measure my dick. What was the length? It's longer than this. Yo, what the fuck, dude? Leave him alone. Okay, come on. Let's go for a walk. I only fuck with thin crust pizza nowadays. You know? I'm not really into all that bread, all that extra carbs. I like it thin, baby. I like uh, Brooklyn style, baby. That was good as fuck. My whole body is so sore right now. I haven't done those like T-bar rows in forever. My body's just fucking messed up, bro. I did a seven plate T-bar row. And then uh, we filmed that for Instagram and I did it. It felt pretty good. So I was like, fuck it. Let's just max out this whole bar and throw eight plates on. Let's do an eight pl plate T-bar row. You know, like the good old days. So I did an eight plate T-bar row and I got that for Instagram as well. So I haven't done that in forever. And now my body is like sore as shit you know when you do like a crazy heavy lift too it's like not just your sore your nervous system's like shot too so you know i'm feeling like like i just need to just eat some eat some nice calories get a nice drink in me watch some tv relax reset my cns oh shit <laughs> i got you motherfucker i want fucking pizza baby yeah buddy give me that pizza baby I want all the pizza, yeah! I'm a fucking New Yorker and I like it Brooklyn, baby! 
Yeah! Get me all fucked up for that pizza, baby. Fuck me up. Cheddar cheese, mozzarella, a little pepperoni on that crisscross applesauce crust, baby. Yummy, yummy, baby. Do the pizza dance. Fuck! I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat the pizza and all the molly I'm on. Dare you to drink out of that. Drink out of it, I dare you. Couldn't pay me, motherfucker. <laughs> money. That shit's like shit on it. So get your pizza, man. Fuck, man. He shut me in. Secured, brother. Yeah, secured. Well, I love how that guy doesn't give me one bag for all this shit. <laughs> Oh, I thought you had the muscles to carry it, buddy. Fucking Doc Ock right here. I got eight arms or something, buddy. You gotta fucking hold all this shit. Brad is picking his teeth while I'm driving, so I don't want him to touch any of my shit. <laughs> Fuck up on that ass, boy. We want your prediction right here on Cam. Who's winning this game? Clippers. Clippers are winning. How many points? <laughs> By like two. Basically, if Minnesota loses, they're in the play-in play -in tournament. Yeah. Damn. So fighting for the eighth seed. Damn. So basically, now, if you're in seventh or eighth seed, doesn't really matter. It makes no difference, really, yeah, right? You play for that you shit. Have to, you're, you're, you have to fight for the play-in tournament, right? In that one year, um, the Suns, they won every game in the playoff, in the play-in tournaments, and they still didn't make the playoffs. That was different. That, that wasn't play-in tournament. What was that? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. Dude, I, can't, it to me. I can't fucking explain this. I'm not fucking a basketball expert. Hey, Steve Nash will be retired. Fuck you. Devin predicts two points, Clippers. We will check back. Mm. Yeah, don't be breathing on my shit, dog, because I'm fucking not about that. You look so disturbed, bro. Done with the video. Uh, you want any uh, TLF? Link in the description box below. Use my code TLF Devin. Saves you money, supports me big time. Evogen Supplements, code Devin. Link in the description box below. Supports me big time. Any uh, programs, link in the description box below. Peace out. Bye.